So if you guys are longtime viewers of my channel, or if you just gave it a quick glance, you would see that I do a lot of collection swatches for lip products. So I do a lot of collection videos, and then I realized that I've never actually done recommendation lip videos before. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all my favorite neutral slash nude lip products for people with medium olive to tan skin complexions like I do. I'm going to be covering pretty much from the lightest to the darkest colors that I would consider as being neutrals. So I have some glosses, lip liners, traditional lipsticks, I have some balms, and I have some liquid lipsticks as well. I will be swatching all of them. However, a lot of these, I already have some like collection swatch videos as well. I'll put those in the description down below if you're interested in seeing more than just neutral shades that I like from the collections. I think I'm gonna go from least staying power to the most as I go down because it'll be a lot easier to swatch that way. So I'll start with glosses and I'll end with like liquid lipsticks or something. So I want to start off with the tinted bombs and the more sheer products. And I have three in this category. The first one being this ColourPop Just a Tint in Z-Boys. This one is categorized on their website as a sheer peach nude. I do really enjoy this. I find it very hydrating. I like to wear these types of products whenever I don't feel like going all out with my lip products or if I just don't feel like wearing lip products throughout the entire day and I like this crayon shape because it's super easy to apply it's like no fuss and because this is so sheer you don't have to worry about going over your lip lines you don't have to worry about being too precise because it's very very forgiving this is z-boys right here it is definitely more of a slippy type of formulation you definitely feel the oils in this product that gives you kind of that lipstick slash gloss look in one product i feel like a lot of the shades because they're sheer are very very similar so i just picked one i find no matter how light or how tan i get this is the one that flatters me the most. Next up, we have this Jamie Lips by Incredible in the shade Fruity Feels. This is described as a juicy pink. I really enjoy this one. I would say it kind of leans towards a berry. On my lips, you can definitely tell that it is a little pinky berry shade. I would say it is a super slick, balmy feel to it. It definitely feels more sticky than that color pop just a tint but that might be good because the staying power is a lot better. The only con that I have is that it can get really messy because it's so emollient and then you can't wind it down. So once you wind it up, it does not come down. So make sure that you don't just wind and wind just to see how much product you have because you won't be able to bring it down. I went through a phase where this was all I was wearing. I really enjoyed wearing it with a lip liner and typically I just wear it without because it has really good opacity, but it still fades really nicely to the point where I, I feel like I can reapply this if I want to. This is constantly in one of my purses and I'm constantly losing it because of that. Shade selection of these products is very small, which is why I don't have more. I hope they expand the shade selection because I do really love this formulation. Last in this category, we do have this Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Mystic. This is described as a light brown with cool pink undertones, but I still feel like it works for me. If you like cool tones, you will really like this one. The reason why this is in this category is because I didn't exactly know where to put it um, because the formula is very interesting. So it feels kind of balmy. However, it does tend to dry down as the hours go on. I do think that it gives you a little bit of a gloss finish. However, it's nothing compared to those first two. And I think the reason why is because this is created for the lips and the cheeks, which honestly, this looks really nice on both the lips and cheeks. I've tried it with both and I really like it. Some multitasking products I don't necessarily use that way. I'll either stick with lips or stick with cheeks but with this one I find that I can do both and still be satisfied with the finish of it the look of it I think that this would look really really nice with someone that's a little bit lighter than I am and it'll also pull pretty nude if you're more on the tan side so if you're interested or if you like that look this is the perfect one for you and then here are those shades swatched on my arm 
All right, next category, we are gonna be covering our glosses. So the first two that I have are both from the same line because I just couldn't choose. This one is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone, as well as the shade Amber. I have a full video on these. I love these to death. They are amazing glosses. I don't find them plumping or anything. They just make your lips look super juicy, very hydrated, and the color payoff is just amazing. So I chose these two because I. I felt like they were different enough of neutral shades to suit different people. So Stone is going to be your more true cool nude while Amber is going to be more of that warm neutral shade. I'm applying Stone right now. So this is Stone on the lips. I tend to wear these products alone. I don't really wear liners with it unless I want to make my lips look very contoured, I'll wear a deeper liner. I don't feel like I'm that fussy when it comes to lip products, so I like wearing these alone. I love the finish of them. I feel like they give me just enough shine. They're not too much. Like If you're not looking for something that looks like your lips are dripping of hydration, these are really good. You can build it up if you want to. You can keep it. Like They're just so versatile. I. I love these so much and they're really affordable as well and you can find them on sale a lot too since they're from the drugstore. They taste very sweet. I, I know some people don't like that but I mean I, I don't mind it. I don't typically go and like lick my lips while I'm wearing them but they feel really good. They feel very silky on the lips too. All right now we have Amber. This is the warmer nude. So I really like this one because it tends to be lighter than what I typically would go for so if I'm in the mood for something like that this is what I would like gear towards and I find that since it is a gloss formulation it is a lot more forgiving and it doesn't look as stark as say something this shade but matte. This is really nice if you have a very nude lip color and you like it but you just want to bring a little bit more warmth to it so this will kind of balance it out. I find I feel like this shade works really well when, when I'm more tan because when I'm more on the light side it can kind of look to orange, I guess. So right now I would say is like the peak time that I would wear this shade. This next shade is from Fenty. This is the Gloss Bomb Cream in Fenty Glow. It's the original shade, but without the shimmer basically. I really like this. I feel like it is a nice milky pink on me, not too milky, not too light or anything, but also it gives you so much opacity and it wears really nicely. The formulation of the Fenty Beauty lip glosses or gloss bombs are just amazing. They feel very silky. They feel very similar to the Maybelline ones and I like both of them equally. There's something about Fenty products, like lip products that draws me in. <laughs> I don't know, they're always just so well done. And this just gives you that nice and juicy look. Next we have another drugstore favorite. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Mocha Twist. This is going to be a warm nude pink shade. I have it on and I really love this. It is plumping like it says, so there is a slight tingle. It's nothing major. It's nothing like the Too Faced Lip Injection, if you don't like that sensation, it does go away in a few minutes. It is there. I would say it's more cooling than tingling, just in my personal opinion. But the shade is really, really beautiful. I find it's very similar to that Fenty Glow shade, but this one has a little bit more of a brown undertone. So if you're looking for something that is a little darker than the Fenty Glow one, this would definitely be a very good alternative for you. I love this shade a lot. The other ones I'm not crazy about, which is why I haven't picked up any more, but this one is definitely a staple for me. Last in this category, we have the Tower 28 Shine On Milky Lip Jelly in um, Cashew. This is described as a milky rosy brown. I have this shade on. This is going to be probably the juiciest lip gloss in the bunch. I find that this one looks the most dripping, like the most hydrating, I guess. So if you're into that look, this is definitely the one. This formulation is going to be the most sheer. It is a semi sheer. If you're looking for a good gloss topper, this will be a really good option for you because you'll still be able to see the lipsticks underneath really well or lip liner or whatever you're wearing underneath it and I find that it's very lightweight it almost feels watery if that 
like if you can imagine that um and oh it kind of feels like an oil it definitely feels the most slick like it feels oily this definitely pulls very brown on me and i love that i think that it's very suitable now with my complexion now as well as when i'm more tan and when i'm more pale All right, and here are all those gloss shades swatched for you guys. All right, jumping in to the traditional lipsticks, I do have a good handful here with me. And the first three are gonna be from the Huda Beauty Cream Glow Lipsticks. I was blown away by the formulation of these. I love the way that these feel. I love the way that they wear. I feel like they're so um easy to apply on top of i feel like my lips feel hydrated over time so many good things about this but i narrowed it down to just three that i thought were a good variation of nudes for you guys or neutrals for you and the first one is going to be my favorite of the bunch which is money maker this one is going to be your rose brown shade i love this pulls a little cool but it has a tiny bit of warmth to it, so you can kind of get away with wearing it either way. I feel like this really complements my skin tone. I just love the way that it feels as well. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a glam look, in my opinion, because I don't wear cools that often, but I just feel like this one makes me look more sophisticated if that's a thing and I think that this would look amazing on someone with tan skin a little tanner than me or even deeper skin I just feel like this is one of my favorite lipsticks yeah yeah for sure <laughs> Next up, we do have Hustla, which is again, another cool nude. However, this one is gonna be a little lighter. This is probably the lightest that I would go in the whole line without using a lip liner underneath to kind of like warm it up or deepen it up. I feel like this also gives me that kind of glam look that I'm looking for, but if I don't wanna go as dark as Moneymaker, then I'll go for something like this. If you like more pale nudes on you and you're tan, I think that this one would be a really good option for you. And also if you're a little more pale than I am, I think that this would be a beautiful kind of deeper nude on you. Last up from that collection, we do have Sweet Cheeks, which is going to be a more pale pink on people with warmer, medium to tan complexion such as I have. I would say that this is a nude pink on me. I wouldn't go any lighter than this because I just don't fi find that it's flattering on me personally. I really enjoy this one though. I feel like it's the right amount of nude and the right amount of pink. This with a smoky eye, so pretty. Also with like a bold liner, also very pretty. Next, we're jumping into the drugstore, and to start it off, I do have this L'Oreal Color Riche in Glossy Fawn. The reason why this is in traditional lipsticks is because, I mean, it's categorized as that. However, personally, I would say it's more of a bomb because it is that more sheer look. It is a nudie, beigey pink as well but the way that i like to wear this one is on top of a lip liner i feel like it's very beautiful on top of a darker lip liner this does have a very similar texture as the incredible jammy lips i would say super super emollient just melts to the touch of your lips it melts down into a really creamy very shiny lip product and this one i would say is almost like a concealer nude shade if you wear it alone so if you really really like those nudes again like pale pinks pale nude shades on you and you're about the same complexion as i am try this one out i do find that this is very forgiving again because it is more glossy shiny versus something this shade that was matte. I don't reach for it that often, but I wanted to give you guys some options for very nude shades as well as like the darker nudes that I picked out. Next, I do have this Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Me. This is gonna be a warm toned peachy pink nude. This is beautiful. I feel like this is a statement lipstick 
because of the finish of it. It is a very matte velvet in my opinion. I think that it really flatters because it's only a little bit warm so it's not overbearing whatsoever. I feel like this is a very very versatile shade for a lot of things. I love wearing it alone. I love wearing a gloss on top. I like to dab it on and wear it very sheer. A really versatile lipstick and also the tube, like the packaging on this, so cute and it is magnetic as well. I want to pick up more shades from the Juvia's Place lipstick line. I haven't chosen which ones I want though because I'm just so satisfied with this shade. I feel like even if I picked up more, I just won't wear them like that, you know? Like do you guys have like lines or collections that you think the same with this is definitely the case for these lipsticks for me i do feel like this is the perfect mix of peach and pink i don't think it pulls either way too much it is like the perfect little mesh of both shades and I just adore it. Last in the traditional lipstick category, we have this Jason Wu Hot Fluff Lipstick in the shade Cannoli. This is going to be a warm, warm terracotta shade, almost pulls a little orange. If you like those kind of shades, this is gonna be the perfect one for you. This one I actually bought on Target online. I chose this shade because I wanted to use this for all of its purposes. So on my lips, my cheeks, and my eyes and honestly this looks amazing on all parts of the face now it doesn't have great staying power on the eyes obviously because it is a more creamy lipstick if you wear a primer maybe but I haven't tried it that way I kind of just sheer it out and then put like a powder eyeshadow on top of it so I kind of use it as a base but on the cheeks it looks so good oh my goodness I love this shade so much and like I said the texture is very velvet it does feel very comfortable but it can get a little drying as the hours go on I just think that this shade is such a unique neutral shade for me or like a unique nude on me. I think that if you were more tan, deep complexion, this would look absolutely amazing on you. And then if you're a little lighter than me, it will pull more orange. And I also think that's beautiful. All right, going into the lip liner category. Now I do apologize, my lips are getting a little bit irritated, a little bit raw, so it's not applying as smooth and as even as possible, but trust me when I say that these lip liners definitely do apply really nice, blendable, creamy, and they're all very even on the lips if you're not swatching like 20 different lip products in one sitting. To start off, we have the Persona Cosmetics Lip Liner in Rosewood. This is a beautiful, very like, grazy beigey shade i i guess is that is that a term? The lip liners will, are gonna be a lot easier to swatch on my wrist. I find this is a really nice contouring lip liner, so if I want my lips to look super defined on the outsides, I'll use this one, and it gives you that beautiful, juicy look on the lips. And the next one I have is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Warm Brown. This is by far my favorite from that entire collection. These are very creamy, very beautiful lip liners as well and this one is gonna be a lot more pinky I guess reddish pink than that persona one yeah these are not swatching as well right now I'm so so sorry um, but if you want to reference my past Huda Beauty video where I swatch these please feel free to this one is gonna be almost my lips but better but darker shade, you know what I mean? So this is also a really beautiful contouring one, but I also love wearing this with a clear gloss or even that Tower 28 Cashew. I find that this helps to deepen up any shades that I feel like are looking a little too light. Next, we have this MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. This one I think is going to be the one that I've used the most throughout because I find that it's the most similar to lipsticks that I choose and I am swatching these fairly hard on my on my hand so they are coming off a little darker than they do on my actual lips this one i would say comes off as more of a pink shade on me i enjoy it because i can use it 
the most with the most lip products. All right, now on my lips is Spice right here. This is from MAC. If I wanna wear something that I know will last all day, I will just throw on a lip liner and then put like a gloss or even like a lip balm on top and then I'm set. I don't even have to worry about it throughout the day and if it fades, then I'm all good. You know, it's like one of those things that I do on like those days where I just don't wanna fuss with lip products at all. I definitely have gone through one of these in the past and I don't go through lip liners very often because I don't wear lip liners every single time I wear, you know, lipstick. And lastly, for my drugstore lip liner, we have the Milani lip liner in the shade Spice. Again, it is very similar to the MAC shade Spice, but this one definitely has a little bit more pink in it. Last category I have are my liquid lipsticks and there are two liquid lipsticks that I want to discuss that I don't have with me. I don't know where they are. I went looking for them and I honestly have no idea. They're probably stuck in a purse somewhere in the abyss. So I'm just going to mention them and I'll also pop up a little image of them so you can kind of see what they are. The first one is going to be the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, the shade Slow Ride. So it's going to be more of that nudie shade, but it looks amazing. It has enough brown in it to be flattering for people with um, medium to brown skin tones. I love it. It feels so lightweight on the lips. They literally feel like water going on. They're that thin and then when they dry down they feel like nothing. Like they're the most pigmented, most comfortable liquid lipsticks I've ever used. Hands down, they are my favorite type of liquid lipstick out there. And then a close runner up is going to be the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Rouge Lip Stains. They changed the name from when they first came out and it's in the shade I Lead. That is a beautiful rosy brown shade. That was the first liquid lipstick I feel like that I was wearing constantly. I would wear it to work, I would wear it out, I would wear it when I would film. It has that same watery feel to the lips, but it's super pigmented, you can build it up. It's just so beautiful and I felt like I could wear that any time of the year and just be extremely happy with it. The other three liquid lipsticks I have are right here. They're all drugstore as well. The first one is gonna be from the NYX Lingerie XX XL line and this is in the shade warm up if you haven't seen that video I did swatch a lot more of the shades I'll link that down below for you guys but this one I would say is gonna be the most neutral from that entire collection that I swatched I would say that this is more of a dark pinky nude I like to wear this whenever I want a little bit more color I don't want to go super neutral um, but I still want it to go with like any look that I wear so as you can see, it kind of pulls a little pinky berry. So if you want something that gives you a little bit of color, you don't want to be completely like in the brown neutrals, this is a really good alternative. These wear really nicely. My lips feel really nice and hydrated when I first put them on. They do dry down, but they don't dry your lips out or anything like that. The next product I have is going to be this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink from the Coffee Collection, and this is in Caramel Collector. Now, if you saw that video, you know that I like to put a little on the center and then I'll just spread it out evenly with my fingertip. I find that's the most comfortable way for me to wear this formulation. If I just go in with the doe foot and put it all on my lips, it's way too sticky for me. And the coffee collection is my favorite collection of all the matte super stays. This one is gonna be a warm peach in my opinion. I think that it can also be categorized as sort of that terracotta. Same thing as that Jason Wu lipstick. I really like this one. I find that this wears like pretty much all day. It doesn't reapply that nicely. I found like if my lips start to dry and then I try to reapply it, it's just not that comfortable. So this is one of the things where I'll put it on if I have a couple of hours that I need like want to wear lipstick and I don't have to wear it through an entire like eight to ten hour day. All right and to close out all of these lipsticks 
is going to be this bad boy. This is the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick in Ambition Statement. The reason why I kept this at the end, I'm sure you guys know, is because this formulation is so extremely long lasting and it's very difficult to take off. The only way that I found to take it off is using this guy right here. And I've had a lot of questions. This is how I do it for any stubborn makeup. I use this without a doubt or without a without a doubt is that it yeah i don't know without fail that's what it is this is gonna be your warm peach brown shade i think this is probably one of the most wearable out of the line i do find a lot of the shades from the shine loud collection are very similar this one i would say is the one that i usually go for the only thing was with this is that once the gloss like disappears my lips do start to peel like it's so long lasting and so stuck on my lips that when the color starts fading my lips like start cracking it's not flattering whatsoever so again this is something that i would want to wear um, and not have to reapply because once i reapply it it just continues to dry out it does look very beautiful when you first apply it it lasts for a really long time but i wanted to include this because i know a lot of people have had huge success with this specific line and out of the entire collection this would be my top pick for the most flattering Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. Those were my top picks currently. I mean, this is ever changing as collections are coming out and as products are being discontinued. As I found while I was collecting all of my picks, there were so many of my favorites that have been discontinued. So I just didn't want to include that and like tease you guys with it. It wouldn't do very much good anyways. I hope that you guys found it helpful and hopefully we have a couple of the same favorites. Let me know if you are interested interested in picking up any of these products that I mentioned today. If it was helpful for you, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me and it helps the algorithm for YouTube, which is super weird sometimes. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!